So how did we get these arrangements of uh, Chauvendana, Rosera, and Chora Corazao? Um, I, I, I love telling the story. So back in 2014, we were in New York just playing some concerts. And um, while we were there, we wanted to look up uh, just what other guitarists were living there and see if there's anyone we could take a lesson with. Um, turns out Joao Luis was living there. We had seen him uh, with the Brazil duo in San Francisco giving a concert. They're just, they're absolutely incredible. So uh, so we reached out to him, uh, trying to set up a lesson. He, uh, he was available. Um, the way this would normally work when we did this back then, we'd go find a guitarist, we'd set up a lesson, play something for them, get some feedback, you know, one hour lesson, in and out. Um, uh, but like Joao, like, I, I don't know, he just, he loved what we were doing. He was so given with his time. We spent the whole afternoon in his place. Um, we played pretty much all of our repertoire for him. He just wanted to hear everything. Uh, he made us coffee. We just chatted about music, life. Um, it, was, it was just an amazing afternoon. Um, but what I think he was really, really impressed with was the uh, the Nyatali play pieces that we were playing, the Brazilian pieces we were playing. And, um, you know, the thing he told us, which I think was just the highest compliment we could have gotten, was that uh, we didn't play them with an accent. We didn't sound like gringos when we played them. Um, and then a couple weeks later, after we had gone home, uh, we get this email from him, and he was sharing with us the, the arrangements of Chauvin Dona Rosera and Chora Corazao. And so that's that's how we got them. <laughs>